Hi guys, Squirrel here. In this video, I'm going to talk about and show you the advanced trailer coupling mechanism that's coming through in the next version of American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator. Now, this is an option that you have to enable uh, if you want it. It will be off by default, so nothing will change. Well, actually, something will change. I'll show you in a second. But you won't be using advanced coupling unless you enable it. Let's start the truck up, and I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm going to start out over here by reversing the truck. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to go to an external camera just so that we can uh, fix our camera here. So let me do that. There you go. So this is our trailer. And first of all, I want you to notice the trailer has got legs. It's also got that handle on it. And we're going to reverse into the truck. Uh, sorry, into the trailer. And you'll see what happens. So this is as you've currently got it right now. This is not advanced coupling. Right, so, you know, nothing unusual there. The main difference comes now when you press the T key to attach the trailer. Watch it, watch the legs down there, watch the handle. All right, so you get that now. That's, um, that's part of the, that's part of the whole game now. That, you can't change that. That's going to happen whether you've got advanced coupling on or off. It doesn't matter. And similarly, if you detach the trailer, it winds it back down and you've got to wait for it to release and it pops the trailer off and off you go. However, let me show you some things about um, the way things work without advanced coupling. So, there's your kingpin, all right? Now the kingpin needs to go into the fifth wheel. That's the fifth wheel on the back of the truck right there. So the kingpin needs to come into this fifth wheel where it will then lock into position. As you can see, there's like a wedge shaped opening that is the margin of error that you normally get on a truck in order to get that kingpin here into that wedge there. When you've not got advanced coupling, you can be quite lax about this. So for example, I can reverse my truck in like this and let me just pull forward. I'm going to be quite off the margin and do it and you'll see that it'll still allow it. There you go. So you can see here, uh, it's saying press T to attach trailer. And the kingpin is, well, it's nowhere near the fifth wheel. It's not even close. If you did that in a real truck, you know, you're probably going to risk damaging the kingpin doing that. If I pull away, I can come in at an angle and I can probably still get away with this. I come in like that. And, you know, that's absolutely fine. That is the way the game is currently. Now, let's try something... A bit different. Let's enable the advanced coupling and you'll see how different it is. So what you want to do is you want to come out, go into your options here, go into gameplay and you scroll down and you find this new option, advanced trailer coupling, and you want to turn that on. You don't have to do this, this is optional. If you don't feel comfortable with it, that's fine. It's an optional thing, but it will change the way you have to reverse. So now let's try again, but this time I'm going to take my time, and we're going to be a bit off the axis there, so the kingpin is not lined up to that fifth wheel. You see, I don't have the option to enable the trailer, because the kingpin is nowhere near in the fifth wheel. Alright, let's move forward. And you can see, that is not going to go into the wedge, that's actually going to hit the fifth wheel. And that is not going to work. What I need to do is I need to be pretty accurate now about reversing. Did you see that? Do you see how it followed the wedge and locked into place? That's what you need to do if you've got advanced coupling turned on. Now, it doesn't look so bad from this view. Let me just decouple it. But it does change things when you're back in the cab. It changes them quite a bit. So if I jump in the cab here, and let's say I've positioned myself to, uh, to reverse into the trailer, this is where you really notice the difference, because particularly with the W900 with this exhaust stack, I can't look out the window, I can't see things properly. I have to rely entirely on my mirrors, and I have to be accurate. So what I want to do now is I want to look at my wheel. Can you see my rear wheel? And I'm going to look at the line of the trailer, and I need to get myself positioned equally on both sides of the trailer. So I need to square up to this thing properly. And if I do that, and I follow it in, 
I get a lock. If I'm out, it's not going to happen. And the margin of error is quite small. Other than that, you then just carry on with your journey. And it doesn't really affect decoupling, because when you get to the other side, it just decouples as normal. This really only affects when you're connecting into your trailer. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, then advanced trailer coupling is something you're going to want to turn on. So the next question I asked myself is, so how is this advanced coupling affected by mods? Here I am in the Aradeth VNL, Volvo VNL 670, and I want to know, will my truck still connect to the stock SCS trailers if I've got advanced coupling turned on? Or even if I've got it turned off, you know, is it going to break my mods? Well, the first thing I noticed was the truck mod still works fine, and if I don't have advanced coupling turned on, then I can reverse into my truck and lo and behold I can connect the trailer leg comes up and it all works fine so without the advanced coupling not a problem at all apart from that little catching thing there when you drive away I noticed what happens if I turn the option on let's go to gameplay and then we shall turn on advanced coupling and then see what happens Line my truck up correctly. And as you can see, the kingpin seems to clip straight through that fifth wheel. Nothing seems to happen. Let me go external camera here and have a look around. So let me just make sure that I'm lined up exactly. You can see it going in. It's perfectly in position, but it doesn't click into place. So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me that the truck mod authors are probably going to have to do something to their truck in order to be compatible with the advanced trailer coupling. So if you've got a mod such as this Volvo VNL or any other truck, you probably won't be able to turn on advanced coupling until the mod author has updated their truck mod. So that's one thing to watch out for. The next thing I decided to try out was uh, trailer mods. I want to know, will trailer mods work with the advanced coupling or not? What's going to happen? So here we are, I'm back in the Aradef VNL 670 and I've got a trailer mod installed. And the first thing I noticed was, when I zoom over here, I was thinking to myself, so what's going to happen with the, the, the leg animation? Uh, you can clearly see this has no, well it has an operating handle here, but it's on the wrong side. And also, if you look very, very carefully, you can see that the trailer leg is not actually touching the floor. And interestingly, what that also means is when I back up the truck, you'll see that it's not actually at the right height. It's not high enough. Now, I've got advanced coupling turned off, so it kind of ignores this and just clips right through it. And if I keep going it does actually allow me to hitch up. But what's gonna to happen to the legs when I hitch up? Are they gonna animate? Is the, is the arm gonna turn? No. So what actually happens is the legs just pop, instantly retract, the arm doesn't come out because there is none to animate. Well, there is one over there, but I, it was never designed to be uh, advancedly coupled like this. Um, but it does otherwise hook up to the truck. And similarly, when I detach, the leg is, is extended, but not quite enough. The truck is then lowered down onto legs which are not long enough, and the trailer, uh, the truck has to pull through the trailer in order to get away from it. Now, we already know that this is not going to work on advanced coupling. We tried it already with the Volvo. But what's it going to be like if we jump back into a W900 stock truck? All right, so I'm in the Kenworth. This is a, uh, a standard SCS truck, and the advanced coupling's turned off. So I'm expecting it to work exactly like the Volvo VNL did. Yep, it just clips to the trailer and then boom, we get, this, we get the attachment. If I now pull forward and turn on advanced coupling, I suspect this is not going to be the case. So we go to options, gameplay, we'll scroll down, we'll turn on advanced coupling and see what happens. Now at this point, I'm expecting it not to clip through. 
Okay, but it does clip through. So I'm guess that's just the trailer mod, but you can see the uh, the fifth wheel has gone straight through the kingpin. So yeah, it's more or less what you would expect to happen. Wow. Okay, that's unexpected. So that works with advanced coupling. If I got it exactly right. So what happens if I couple now? Okay. Now, you can kind of see some clipping going on. I can see the fifth wheel clipping through there. But otherwise, it looks like it worked. So let me summarise what I found through the testing here. Advanced coupling is firstly an option that you can turn on. You don't have to, and by default it will be off. If you turn it on, then the SCS stock trucks will work, but the truck mods will likely not work and will need to be updated. The trailer mods, on the other hand, assuming the trailer mod starts in the game, then it does appear that you can do advanced coupling with it as long as you're using a truck that supports advanced coupling. That seems to be what's happening here. Personally, I think this is a great feature. Uh, it definitely makes reversing into the trailer and connecting to it a lot more challenging. You can actually damage the, the truck and the trailer if you reverse too hard whilst advanced coupling is turned on and you miss. It's up to you whether you turn it on or off. Uh, if you want a bit more of a challenge, definitely turn it on. But otherwise, you can leave it off and you won't notice any difference. Hope you enjoyed this little quick look at advanced coupling. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy trucking.